As I said, it was so appropriate that she talked about how happy she was that Ting Wen finished 1-2 with her at these games. The two of them have been battling it out at the 2009 Asian Youth Games. It was Kwa Ting Wen who actually came out on top of Amanda Lim. And then Amanda went to the SEA Games of 2009 and snatched that title away from her. She's kept the title for a while now, but over the years, Ting Wen has had a, a few victories against Amanda, including this year, when she beat Amanda at the National Age Groups. And then Amanda got her revenge once again at the National Championships. And here, in an event, uh, in a stage where she has been the top and fastest woman in Southeast Asia for four years in a row. She has now made history by winning this, becoming the first swimmer to win this five times in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, bronze medalist, Thailand. Represented by Janjira Srisa Ang, with a time of 25.63 seconds. Oh, we just uh, overheard it's 25.63 seconds for Janjira Srisaat. That is a new national record for her. She already set a new national record this year, so she's lowered it twice this year. And it's one of uh, three national records Ladies she holds over 50 meters. Definitely her Singapore. distance, especially with that rocket start. Quarting one couldn't have gone any faster. It's a time which is even lower than the last. It was a time that it was lower than Amanda's time at the last Sea Games, but still not good enough for the gold medal. So try as she might. And ladies and gentlemen, but uh, the mighty Amanda has done it again. We'll hear the time now. There you just heard it, 25.41 seconds, the stadium announcer. As I said, every victory of hers has come with the record. And she hasn't disappointed yet again. 2017, unprecedented, Queen Amanda has done it five times in a row. Three gold medals won by Singapore tonight, which has really been an average of uh, three per night over the days of competition here in the 2017 Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur. It has been thrilling, that is for sure.
times have been pretty quick and just a recap of uh, our winners from the Bukit Jalil Aquatic Center in terms of swimming it started with Igare Suratawa who won the first event on day one in the 50 meters backstroke beating Kwateng Wen and then Singapore found a pleasant surprise in the 200 meters butterfly when Kwateng Wen beat out Nguyen Tian Vien the defending champion in perhaps the surprising result of these games and it signaled what was just a phenomenal sea games for Kwa Tung Wen you could safely say it's the breakout games for her and then Wilson Sim thrilled the home crowd with victory in the 400 meters freestyle Tian Vien got her first of her eight gold medals at these games in the 100 meters backstroke and Joseph Schooling of course the first ever Olympic champion from Southeast Asia won his first race the 50 meters butterfly by almost a full second over Triadi Fauzi on the second day of competition in the 200 meters backstroke Tian Vien winning goal over Yesi Yosaputra Keaton Nutapong winning in the 200 meters breaststroke for men in the women's 50 meters breaststroke Rowan Ho retained her title and then in the 200 meters butterfly there was always going to be one winner and it was Kwa Tung won by quite a margin 400 meters freestyle for women went to Nguyen Tian Vien And then Joseph Schooling, of course, winning in the 100 meters butterfly. Naturally, as expected, it would have been the shock of the century if uh, the Olympic champion had lost at Southeast Asian level. 100 meters freestyle women went to the lady to Amanda's right. So there she is, parting one. Just 0.01 seconds, the closest race at these games ahead of Nguyen Tian Vien. And then Wilson won his second gold medal in the 200 meters freestyle before Ting Wen made it a double on the second night with a victory in the 50 meters freestyle. Kwa Tung Wen beat out Francis Fong, a fast emerging Francis Fong in the 200 meters backstroke for men. And that ended a superb day of competition for Singapore on day three five of six gold medals they won that day Triadi beat Cheng Jin for the 200 meters individual medley title Tian Vien retained a 200 meters individual medley crown but Samantha Yeo took down a 14 year old national record in that event Tung Wen won probably the closest men's race with victory in the 100 meters backstroke over Igade Sudatawa making sure that he had revenge against the Indonesian who beat him in the 50 back and then Samantha Yeo broke her second national record of the night on day four and off the meters well in the 100 meters breaststroke taking down a 10 year old national record it was only good enough for silver though as Fijing earned one goal for Malaysia Tian Vien with a goal in the 800 meters freestyle and schooling winning in the 100 meters freestyle although he was chased all the way by Huang Ki Fok then yesterday in the 400 meters individual medley goal for Vietnam's Tian Vien in the women's and goal for Vietnam in the men.